Hello everyone, today's story is Arfi on holiday. Let's go. Arfi's little sister Annie Lowe's was not feeling well. She was awake a lot in the night and kept crying. Mom was very busy looking after her. Dad was at work, and Arfi's best friend, Bernard, who lived nearby, was away on holiday. Arfi had no one to play with. And he was very bored, <coughs> so <coughs> he was very very happy when Grandma arrived. Pack your bag, Arfie, she said. I've come to take you for a few days at the seaside. Don't forget to bring your bucket and spade. They drove to the seaside. In Grandma's car, it was a place that Arfi had never been to before. <coughs> He and Grandma were going to stay at a lovely hotel with balconies that looked like out on a on a uh, light out on to the beach. As soon as they had uh, unpacked, they held hands and ran down across the pebbles to the big sandy beach, where the where the tide was going out. They paddled in the shallow water along the tide line. Every time Arfi saw the sea. He had forgotten how big it was. Wave after wave stretched out to meet the sky. Next morning, the sun came out, and Arfi and Grandma went for a swim. Arfi wore his armband and clung tight tightly to Grandma, because the water. Was much lower than in the swimming pool. They went to at home. When the were dry, Grandma settled herself in a deck chair, and Alfie began to build a sand castle. Just nearby. Another boy, a boy of about Arfi's age, was building a sand castle too. His castle was bigger than Arfi's. It had a monster all around it. Well, around it had a most moat all around it and flags flying from the top. After a while, he said to Alf Arfi in a friendly way, "Why don't we dig a channel between our two castles? So when the tide comes in, there will be one big moat all around them." Together, they worked very hard to make the deep connection. The tide was coming in fast now. They only just managed to finish it before the first little waves came flooding in. Then they watched as gradually, gradually, to the two moats filled. With seawater, 
and the side of their castle began to collapse. Until at last, Arthur's castle was gone completely, and only the top of the other one was showing. In the end, even that was gone. After this boy told Arfie that his name was Lee, his mom was sitting nearby. She and grandma got chatting, and they shared their picnic lunches. That afternoon, when the tide was out, Arfie and Lee paddled in the shallow water and collected a shell and bits of sea salt, seaweed. There were lots of other children splashing about, and Lee seemed to know most of them. One of them had a kite, and they all joined together to watch it fly up into the air. You seem to have made a friend, said Grandma, as she tucked Arfie into the bed next to hers in their hotel room. Arfie went to sleep straight away, listening to the sea washing on the beach outside. Next morning, Arfie and Grandma were out on the beach early. Arfie spotted Lee and leaned over to him. But Lee seemed very busy playing catch with his friend. Arfie tried to join in, but Lee kept throwing the ball to other people. Shall we go and build another sand castle? Arfie asked him, but Lee did not seem to hear him. Arfie went to see the witch grandma. Let's go for a paddle, she said. Later, when Arfie was busy digging sand castle by himself, Lee's mom stole, strolled by. I'm sorry, Lee hasn't had time to play with Arfie today, she said to grandma. She ha he has so many friends, you see. And this afternoon, he is invited to the birthday party. So, for the last of their stay, Arfie and Grandma found a nice thing to do together. They had ice creams and drew pictures in the sand. And when the tide was out, they explored log pools and collect seaweed and shells. When their trip was over, they looked for Lee and his mom to say goodbye, but they were nowhere to be seen. Perhaps he's gone to another birthday party, said Grandma. They arrived home to find mom and dad and any loose on the doorsteps to greet, greet them. Any loose was much better and she was so pleased to see Arfie again that she hugged him around the waist. But the, by the way, Bernard has come from come home from his holiday said mom he and his mom are coming to tea this afternoon when bernard arrived he was so pleased to see arfie again that he lasted 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 him to the floor and they lowered over and over Then they went into the back garden 
and sat in the RV and banner clubhouse, which was in the bush in RV's back garden. The one that nobody was allowed into unless the unless they were invited. Because it was only for a truly special friend. Thank you for the watching. Bye bye.